November 2, Alpha Delta Victor N2 ADV, over. Uh, try it again. Try it one more time if you would, Dad. This is November 2, Alpha Delta Victor, Norway 2, America, Denmark, Victoria, over. Oh, man, I don't know that we're going to be able to make it. I hear you in there, but uh, you're right at my noise level, just right at my noise level. And uh, the conditions here in the Kansas City area are just terrible right now. Not all that many stations coming through, so uh, um, probably not going to be able to make it, but uh, thanks for the call anyway. Um, uh, I'll listen out one more time, but uh, if I can't pull you through then, uh, we probably should wait to another time. Uh, and my name is Rod, by the way, Radio Oscar Delta. Yeah, very good, Rod. The call sign is N2ADV, November 2, Alpha, Delta, Victor. And I'm running about 10 watts uh, using a UBIDX uh, transceiver that I just built last night. So let's see if I made it through this time. This is November 2, Alpha, Delta, Victor, N2ADV. Over. Uh, November 2, Alpha, Delta, Victor, uh, QRP uh, uh, at 10 watts, I think you said. Uh, very good. Uh, well, yeah, conditions are uh, not good. Uh, <laughs> at any power level, so you're doing well at the 10 watts indeed. Uh, but uh, yeah, you were on that little, on that short transmission, you were Q5. I didn't look at the S meter, but I will on the next uh, transmission. Maybe we can make it here. Again, my name is Rod, Radio Oscar Delta, Radio Oscar Delta, and I'm located in the northeast Kansas. I'm just uh, outside of the uh, Kansas City suburbs out of the countryside. It's a, a beautiful day here. Uh, not a cloud in the sky, temperature about 34, 35 degrees, no precipitation, so it's just a nice uh, late call uh, uh, day here. Um, so, uh, if you report in the next over, uh, back to you, November 2, Alpha Delta, Victor, WA0, Yeah, very good, Rod. Um, yeah, you were 5-5, five and five about uh, peaking up to about 5-7 and seven on the last one. The name is Jim, Juliet India, Mike. And uh, I am located in the city of Oneida, Oscar November Echo, India, Delta Alpha, which is right in the middle of New York State between the cities of Syracuse and Utica, where it's a lovely 18 degrees. Uh, I'm using a kit transceiver called a U-Bit-X that literally just came out. Um, it's, it uses a Arduino board and uh, some solder on components and it's sitting on the workbench next to my soldering iron and this is literally the first contact I've made with it. So let's see if I'm still making it through, Rod. This is November 2, Alpha Delta Vector. Back to you. Roger, uh, Jim. Uh, November 2, Alpha Delta Vector, WA0HHX. Okay. Okay, and your QDH uh, in New York and uh, okay on uh, uh, your equipment and uh, everything else. I uh, got it all. Uh, uh, some uh, QSP, but uh, you never faded down into the noise level. So, uh, very good. Well, uh, you're getting out for sure, uh, and uh, you're making that uh, 10 watts work for you uh, on really poor conditions. I listened around earlier on 20 meters, and uh, there were quite a few fairly strong signals, uh, but uh, just generally looking across the band on my scope here, um, I don't see much of anything, uh, much above about an S6. Your signal report here, uh, varies between an S3 and an S5, an S3 and an S5. Uh, uh, one or two points you uh, kicked up over the five mark, so um, uh, doing a nice job uh, with you uh, with 10 watts there. Um, well, let's see. Um, the equipment here is a Kenwood TS990. Um, had it now about four years. I had real good luck with it. Uh, prior to that, they used a bunch of Kenwood uh, rigs, a 940 and uh, 830S. So it's kind of like Kenwood equipment. So this one, this 990, is, uh, I'm very happy with thus far. It is paired with an Alpha Linear, running a little more power, right about 600 watts. Uh, and the antenna on this end is a four-element cubicle quad. It's uh, up about 63 or so feet pointed up in your general direction. Uh, so that's the uh, the conditions here. You're the first contact of the morning. I've had the radio on uh, for, for several hours, but I'm really just listening around as I was doing other things. So I thought I'd uh, get on here and see if I could snag a, a QSO here before we have to go do some other things. So I'll keep it short in case uh, I'm disappearing on you. Back to you, N2. 
Alpha Delta Victor, WA0HHX. Yeah, WA0HHX and 2ADV returning. No problem copying you. Um, I definitely think with your setup, you're doing all the work. Um, I'm just using a ground-mounted multi-bend trapped vertical with about 34 wire radials under the snow. Um, and uh, fine business on the equipment. I actually have a TS830S uh, sitting here right now that I put back on the bench that I restored last year and uh, was going to give it a little bit of exercise later today. My primary rig is a Flex 6300 um, with an Elecraft K3 as a backup, but I figured I'd try something different and uh, throw this little transceiver together. It's not even in a box yet. It's literally sitting on the desk in pieces with uh, wires hanging all over the place. But uh, you know, I'm picking you up really well. You've got a really fine signal. And uh, like I said, with the antenna and the rig combination you've got there, I definitely think you're doing all the work. So I will also keep it short and turn it back over and see if I have faded or if I'm still making it through. This is N2ADV, back to you. Roger, N2ADV, WHHX, okay, no, got it all. Uh, uh, quite a bit of QSB uh, uh, on that one. So uh, you just about approached the noise level at one point there, but only briefly. Well, very good uh, on how you've got things set up there. Uh, well, uh, uh, my operations here are uh, pretty much HF at the moment. I don't have anything up for the lower bands, uh, although I'm um, uh, hoping to get something up for 40 meters here before too much longer, and then I'd like to get something up for 80 and 160. I used to work those bands, but uh, it's been a long time, and uh, given the sunspot cycle direction, I thought maybe I'd better, uh, uh, you know, pay some attention to the lower bands because the HF bands uh, certainly aren't too good. Although 15 meters did open up again um, here anyway and uh, a lot of other places uh, in September, October and early November but it's uh, gone back in the tank again best I can tell but uh, uh, it was uh, really good during that period uh, and during the CQ Worldwide DX contest it was uh, really good. So uh, it was uh, kind of exciting to hear 15 open up and uh, some of the upper bands a little bit. But nothing much going on there, so uh, right now most of my operations are down here on 20 until I get up something for the lower band. The, the quad is wired to operate on five bands, 10, 12, 15, 17, and 20, but uh, uh, the bands north of 20 meters are not so good right now, although they do open up occasionally. Uh, other than that, uh, just enjoying, uh, enjoying the radios here. Uh, I retired about a year ago, a little over a year ago, and uh, I've always um, had the ham radio equipment around uh, uh, since I was 13 years old and got licensed and uh, I never had enough time to uh, play with the radios because of school and then uh, work and all that. So um, it's been a real uh, kick to be able to play with the radios uh, during the daylight hours anyway on the weekdays and uh, have a chance to uh, to really uh, enjoy it um, at my convenience rather than trying to uh, find time to do it. So it's been fun in that regard. But uh, I live out on a um, uh, kind of a mini farm, mini ranch out here uh, outside the Kansas City suburbs. We've lived out here about 28 years in the unincorporated part of the county. So uh, no real antenna restrictions here. You can pretty much do whatever you uh, reasonably want to do uh, without having to deal with uh, permits and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's been a good spot for ham radio. Back over to UN2 ADV WA0HHX.